Hey folks, this is J.W. Stevens here with Stevens Family Outdoors and uh, one of our friends requested for me to show him how I make my dirt hole set for fox and coyote. So we're going to go ahead and endeavor to get this done. So bear with me here. Thank you. Now you're going to hear me talking and you won't see my face because I don't kneel on the ground when I make my sets. Um, I always, <laughs> hello, I always uh, spread my legs out as far as I can and work that way. Let me get this back here a little bit. Now my hole is going to be facing this way and the trap's going to be back here. So I'm going to take my ripping hammer here and uh, go ahead and rip the ground up a little bit. We'll take it down about three inches and come back anywhere from eight to ten. Okay, now when I make my hole, let's see, let me see if I can get this over a little bit. When I make my hole, I'm going to make it at about a 45 angle or more, not up, but down so they can't see down in the hole very well. And they'll have to get down where the trap is to see. Also, when I make my hole, I don't turn the yo-ho like this. I keep it sideways so that I'm actually making a slit rather than a round hole. What I just did back here was I cut me out a little spot for uh, my trap stakes. And as I told you before, I always double stake crisscross. This is an 18 inch. Next one's a 24. Doggies, tell you what, that'll take it out of you, even if you're not going on 68 years old. Okay, now, you notice all this loose dirt, well, it's, it gets cold in the evening, so I don't use any of that. What I'll do, I'll take this peat moss, and I'll put about a half inch of it in the ground. And this is my sleepy creek. Bed it down in there real good. Then I'll take my peat moss and I'll put a 
around the jaws and around the spring levers and pack this tight so when they're coming in nothing will move then I'll get me a piece of unscented toilet paper put over the pan So the only soft spot they're going to reach and hit is where the pan is. And by then it'll be too late. Then I'll take some of this sod, use it as a backing. Now, something very important. This loose dirt, do not put it anywhere around your trap because loose dirt will make them dig. So what I do is I flip it backwards like a fox would do they were digging. Then I'll get my lure. Leggett's K9 Exciter. Squirt a little bit down the hole. Close it up. Throw it back in my bag. Okay folks, uh, we just completed this set over here. Uh, I hope it was uh, satisfactory and hope you can understand everything that uh, I did. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Uh, this will soon be on uh, our YouTube channel at Stevens Family Outdoors. So if you want to see any of the other bow hunting, trapping, or whatever, just go to our YouTube channel, Stevens Family Outdoors. And, uh, I'll have a lot more stuff on there. Now what I want to show you here, I want to go back over to the set. Right there you see the set that I just made. See the hole? That's all you see. Okay, now a little trick here that I do, which is common sense actually is there's a thicket behind my set and if you go around to the right here you'll see that there is an old tractor road that goes through the the woods up through there they travel that and it goes on back around this way then you have a sort of semi-open area. So this area here that I chose is an area that uh, foxes and coyotes should frequent, you know, pretty regular. So I chose that there. I'm also on the um, upwind side, uh, prevailing wind, so that when it does blow, it will blow down across the road that I just showed you where my truck's sitting on where they travel. Also, the hole is facing the, the way they travel, so that if the wind would happen to shift and they come by, they still can look over and see a hole there and then uh, hopefully investigate it. So, this is JW, Stephen's Family Outdoors. I'm just showing you a little set here that's got thousands of foxes, and hundreds of coyotes. Thank you and God bless. Have a good day.